In this video, we are going to make a box with a screwed on lid, just like this one. So this is a small box, there's a couple of threads on the top. And if I turn this guy on, you'll see there's actually a lid for it. And then what we'll do when we've got that on there is we'll take a look through the box so that we can see what that looks like halfway. So we'll take a look at where our threads are, etc. And we should be able to see how the part fits together. So I'll show you how to do all that in this video. And before we get started, I'm gonna show you my version of FreeCAD. Here it is, version 0.21.1. And it's one of the later downloads. I don't know if they've put a new one up since. I will check again next week, I think. So for now, we're gonna use this version. And here we go. Okay, as always, if you have the start of macro that I showed you, I think way back in the number one or number two of uh, this beginner series, you can use that to get started. What I'm going to do is I'll do it manually because some people who don't have the macro get lost and we don't want that to be the case. So we're going to start a new file. We're going to start a new part and we're going to start a new body. So we're just literally clicking on each of those and then we're going to start a sketch. And then I want my sketch, I'm gonna use the XZ plane. My, my sketch is gonna be on that plane. I always check down here to make sure that I've got a reasonable number there. If it's, if it's in uh, microns down here, then you're gonna make a very small part. So this is a good size, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna to go to the polyline. I'm gonna create a polyline. And I wanna go from there, from there origin. I'm going to go left, go up, I'm going to let those be vertical, horizontal, and watch again as I move the line towards vertical, you can see that little vertical line pops up right there, and that means when I click that it's going to get a vertical constraint which is shown right there. Then I'm going to go over here, again make a horizontal, and then I'm going to close that line out. And I right click just to take the uh, tool from there. So we've got the inside of the box. And of course, when we revolve this shape, we're going to have the actual uh, round box. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to constrain that. I've already constrained it geometrically because I use the um, horizontal and vertical uh, constraints. So now I'm going to constrain this guy. And I know I want that to be 35. And sometimes when you do that, this will turn itself inside out. But what you gotta do is just drag it over that way. Because then I want this wall thickness to be two millimeters. And I'm gonna choose this height here. I'm gonna make that 20. And then I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna have a consistent wall thickness. So I'm just gonna, I'll dimension it. I could have made it equal to this if I wanted to. So I could have said this one and this one were equal, but instead I just dimensioned it. So two millimeters, 35 millimeters. That's gonna, I'm gonna drop that down there so it makes more sense. And that one up there is two millimeters. And of course we're, I'm only moving these around so that you can see them. Um, and now we're going to close that sketch. It's fully constrained because it went bright green. And then we're going to create a revolve. So that's the second icon here. So revolution. There is my box. So that's the first part of the box. And then I want to add a thread to the outside of it. And to do that, we're going to go into the thread. Or sorry, the fasteners workbench. If you don't have the fasteners workbench available, what you'll need to do. So you can go tools, add on manager and search for the fasteners tool bench. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it, but that's how you're going to get the fasteners tool bench. So then you come back here and you go to fasteners. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a fastener object that will cut an external metric thread. I'm going to do mine metric. So I'm just gonna click on that, and it will create uh, a screw thread for me. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
make that screw thread the size that I want it to be and the position that I want it to be. So to move it, you go into this placement and position. I'm going to move it in the Z plane and I'm going to move up 20. And then I'm going to make this actual screw thread diameter. I'm going to choose a custom size. So it's come all the way to the bottom. Choose custom. And then you can make this whatever diameter you want it to be. And then I'm going to make the height of this 5, because I only want it to be 5. And now I have threads that come 5 millimeters down. I'm just going to use the offset and offset it by 0 0.2, just to get it a little bit above um, this surface here. So that's my offset, is to take it up there. Now that is the thread, and the thread is sitting around my box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now remove this thread from this box. First thing I'm going to do, actually I'm going to remove it first, and then I'm going to tell it to get that thread visible. So let's do that. So let's go back into our part design. And we have this selected. We're going to hit the Boolean operation. And then we're going to change this to be cut. And then we're going to say, OK. And now inside the Boolean operation is my screw thread. And I'm going to say, show these threads. So now you can see the threads are showing up. And they look pretty good. And I can change, I'm going to actually change my thread pitch to two millimeters. And there it is. So that's the bottom box, and it has the threaded part. Now we need to make a top. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new body. And I'm going to call this body, I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to call it top. And I'm going to rename that bottom one. I'll just rename that one bottom. So now I have a top and bottom. Makes sense. And all we're going to do is another sketch. And we can choose that same exit plane. And then we're going to draw the lid in the position that we want it. So our lid is going to be something similar to what we just did. It's going to go out here, making sure that I have the horizontal, making sure I have a vertical, again a horizontal, Pin it one more time, back over here, and join that. Now I can see something I already messed up. So this one here needs to say it's vertical. There we go. And now that makes our lid. And then we're going to put some dimensions on it. So I want my lid dimensions to be, and we're going to make that 37. We're going to make that 15. We're going to make that 2. And in this particular case, I'm going to take that one and that one and make them equal. So now they're both 2. That's what I was talking about in the other sketch. We could do it that way or we could dimension them. It's uh, six of one and half a dozen of the other. So I can see right now that my thread will not engage here. So this dimension has to come down. Let's make that 36. And we're gonna look in here. And I think our lid, this height is way too high. So we're gonna make that eight. And then I know the dimension that I want from here to here should be 20 is the height. And then this is 8, and that's only 5, so it should be 20. 21 is the right number. And now I know that that, if you look here, that is actually touching there. 
And I can see that this is not quite overlapping as much as I would like, so I'm going to make that even smaller, 35.8. And for my um, thread here, I don't want it to, I don't want it to engage too close to that, but I don't want to leave too big of a gap, so I'm going to try another, make it a little bit smaller. And let's zoom in. And there you can see, that looks pretty good. So there's gonna be some clearance, but that'll make a good lid. So I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna do a revolve for that one. And now my lid is on there. And then all I need to do is to put my thread inside that one. So what I'm gonna do is turn off that bottom, tip this guy up, go back into my fasteners. And this time I'm gonna use, instead of the die, I'm gonna use the tap because I'm making an inside thread. So I'm add that. And then I've got to make sure it's in the right spot. So to do that, we're going to move it. Going to move it up so it reaches the right spot. That should be right underneath there. Then diameter again, I'm gonna do custom. This time I think you need to be 68. And this height only needs to be eight. And this pitch needs to be exactly the same as the other one, otherwise so I'm gonna switch that. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna select this going to go back into my part design, going to make a boolean, it's going to be a cut, say OK, and I'm going to go back here, and I'm just going to make this screw thread true. Now you can see my screw thread is in here. I'm going to turn back on the bottom. I'm going to line them up with the front halfway. So that's the two halves of the box. And if I turn off the top, you can see the bottom has the thread. Turn off the bottom, turn back on the top. You can see the top has an internal thread. Those two should fit together fairly nicely. I'm going to print them up and I'll show you what they look like. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with people that you think might enjoy watching it. And if you're interested in joining the channel, you can join here on YouTube or you can become a patron. And that would be great. Yeah, always interested in your suggestions. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.